Shalom is real. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. Ba Hashem Rakak Wadash. Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shai is his son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And there's no God beside him. Double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone for being faithful witnesses to the Holy Spirit. And Shalom to the elect whom the Lord have given ears to hear. And I want to entitle, title, entitle, I'm sorry, entitle today's lesson, why we talk about the mark of the beast so much and why it matters to you. Obviously, I'm, I'm going to short, shorten it down. However, that's going to be a synopsis of this video. All right. And here I am. I'm watching the elder brother Ramaz's lesson, RFID, Mark of the Beast update, which if you didn't know, it stems from Revelation 13 and 16. Revelation 13 and 16 spells out the mark of the beast, which will be pushed throughout the four corners of the earth. And if you take that mark of the beast, according to Revelation 14 and 9, then you're going to be tormented in the midst of Yahweh Shai and the, and the lambs. Otherwise, tormented without mercy. For your... For your... Um, you know, for you're going against the Heavenly Father because he told us in various precepts, all right, and he made it known through the real men of the Lord not to take it. And it's going to come at the aspect of your life, you know. Um, that's a temptation that's, that's going to come. And with that... <clears throat> With that prophecy closely closing in on us, like the scriptures say, so lock your bill with me. Matthew 26 and 41. Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. All right. So wise words from Yahawashai, you know, as he was going through his um, time of being persecuted. And it was very heavy for him. And he was nervous. Even though he knew what he had to go through, he was nervous. He was scared. Scriptures speak on how he was uh, so nervous, he was sweating blood. As a matter of fact, let me start at verse 35. Peter said unto him, Though I should die with thee, yet will I not deny thee. Likewise also all the disciples. Then come if Yahweh shall with them unto a place called Gethsemane, and said unto the disciples, Sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. Right? The word Gethsemane is an oil press. It says, uh, The name of a place at the foot of the Mount of Olives beyond the Torian Kidron. All right? And like uh, the elder apostle always points out, it's spiritual that the oil that was being pressed was Yahweh shall. All right, which when you understand it, the oil is your oil is your faith, right? And just like Yahweh Shah's faith was being pressed on in these last days, our oil is going to be pressed on as well. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. Then said he unto them, My soul is, is exceeding sorrowful. Even unto death, tarry ye here and watch with me. And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, as I will, 
Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. And he cometh unto the disciples and findeth them asleep. And this goes to show you what? That we have to expect to be on our own in these last days. All right. Remember, according to the scriptures, the Lord said, in these last days, how every man's, let me see, it's a lot, yeah. Ecclesiastes 12 and 14. Let me start at 13, right? Because we're talking about the end. So it says, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter, the end. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. All right? And as this temptation is going to be tried upon all men, like again, we read Revelation 13 and 16, he calls it all. Well, small, great, rich, and poor. So it says, for this is the whole duty of men, for all men. Fear God, uh, for God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. This is a good one. Revelation 22 verse 12. And behold, I come quickly and my word, my reward is with me to give every man according to his works shall be. All right. So this is the seriousness of the times we're coming into. Reading back at Matthew 26 and 40, and he cometh unto the disciples and findeth them asleep and saith unto Peter, what, could ye not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. So we're watching as we watch the news, like, Hab like the prophet Habakkuk said, he said, I will stand upon the tower and watch and see what he will say. And how I should answer when I am reproved, roughly paraphrasing. Matter of fact, let's go to it. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. All right. And um, as these things get closer and closer, that's the Lord speaking to us like we have less time. That's why there's various, you know, uh, videos going out. That would Kazak, you always, the brother, uh, Yahweh Shai is coming back. Yahweh Shai is coming soon. He always goes into various lessons. You know, many brothers, but that's the brother that comes to mind right now. Yahweh Shai is coming back. Right? And it's fitting, you know, as we all push... You know, well, brothers over here at Great Millstone, that is, push your house shy to the max. And um, we always get into the mark of the beast, right? You see, the brother did various lessons within this past week, all right? So that's us watching and praying, as we ought to, as your shot commanded us, that you enter not into temptation. Hey, when you watch your uh ministry you notice as he was getting closer to that day he was a lot more stern with his men he was a lot more serious you know and that's something we ought to um as we see this day approaching what manner of person are we to be watch and pray that you enter not into temptation the spirit indeed is willing but the flesh is weak all right so understanding 
how, you know, the dynamic is with the spirit and the flesh. You know, even at certain times we've fallen short to the flesh, you know. Um, we must understand that this temptation is going to be a hard one. You know, you can't go and buy your own food and, you know, you can't just go in the refrigerator or, you know, um, stock up when you need to. That's a temptation. Going without food and going without, you know, water, that's a temptation. So it's, uh, that word temptation goes into the word parasmo. Now, you know, you've been studying, you know, this is also the same word. I want to say, what's that, Revelation 2 and 10 or 3 and 10? It's pretty much this, yeah. So this is Revelation 2 and 10. Pretty much the same word where it says 3, 9, 8, 5. All right, so it's pretty much, this is G3986. G standing for the Greek. And this is G3985. So it says, For none of those things which thou shalt suffer, behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried. And ye shall have tribulation ten days, be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So this is the word piraso. <laughs> right, same definition, of course, tried, all right, and uh, tempted. What is that word? Right. Temptation and tried is the same thing. So, um, let me see. An experiment attempt proving the trial made of you by the bodily conditions, since conditions served as to test the love of the Galatians towards Paul, the trial of man's fidelity, integrity, virtue, constancy. All right? And in this waiting period, we shall have built upon these things, our integrity, our virtue, our constancy, an enticement to sin, a temptation. Again, this is a temptation, whether arising from the desires from the outward circumstances, an internal temptation to sin, of the temptation which the devil sought to divert Yahawashai, the Messiah, from his divine errand. As it says, uh, adversity, affliction, trouble sent by God and serving to test or prove one's character, faith, holiness. All right. And then Yahushai sent to test Yahushai, putting him in flesh, pretty much putting his back against the wall. All right. As, um, you know, this flesh is subject to, uh, it's subject to uh, fear, you know, being afraid. All right. But um, pretty much that's why our faith comes in, because as, as it is also written. Um, what's that in Peter's? Let's try to find that one. No, it's in Timothy's. I know it's somewhere in Timothy's, Second Timothy's. Is it 1 and 7 or First Timothy? Right. For God have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. Right? And faith cancels out fear. There's another one that we ought to remember as these dark days come. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 25. Be not afraid of sudden fear. I said this thing's gonna come suddenly. Neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. Right? So it's not for us, it's for the desolation of the wicked more so. Alright? Because the elect is gonna stand firm regardless. Alright? Lord willing, you know, for us going out there in the highways and hedges in a blazing heat and it's, you know, in a frigid cold. But us, 
you know, uh, sacrificing our bodies in various ways. You know, that goes by praying, fasting. You know, may Yahweh Bashim Yahweh give us that honor in the end. You know, somebody got to get it. It's written. All right, we just must. We ought to be doing the things that the elect uh, would do. Hey, real quick, various precepts comes to mind now. But um, this is what I elder um, Mattathias Maccabee said to his sons prior to his passing. So this is First Maccabees chapter two. Verse 51, call to remembrance what acts our fathers did in their time, so shall you receive great honor and an everlasting name. And that's the elect. All right, so now, going deeper into this uh, definition, it says, temptation, i.e. trial of God by men, origin from... Pirazzo. Right. So the origin is from Pirazzo, which again, that's the same word in Gen um, Revelation 2 and 9. So it says to try whether a thing can be done to attempt endeavor. And then I want to go down to the strongest definition of that one, where it says to test, that is, endeavor, scrutinize, entice. Then you go into the origin, the very origin of that word, all right, pira, parazo, all one, from the base of G4008, paran. It says to pierce. Strong's definition will go into pierce. Right? So again, that word at its at its most uh smallest form meaning the idea of piercing a test that is attempt experiencing a same trial. Alright, and we know that the mark of the beast, they will have to pierce your skin, alright, to um put that in you. But it's going to be a trial. It's going to be a temptation. It's going to be an enticement to sin. All right. And one of the very core principles of this truth. All right. Is that you walk the other way. When enticement of sin comes, you walk the other way. That's literally what the, the first couple of books of Proverbs is speaking on. All right. As a matter of fact, let's read it. Proverbs chapter 1. Verse 10. Straight to the point. My son, if, ten, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. All right. What will happen if you consent? It says to be willing consent, to yield, to accept. Right. So let's go to Second Ezra chapter sixteen. Because again, it's it's all about your works. All right. The Most High is going to judge a man on his works. Not on the works of others, but on their particular works. So if you were enticed, if you if you willingly receive that, then you have no one but to blame but yourself. Second Ezra sixteen and sixty nine. 
and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection, an uproar, if you will, upon those that fear the Lord. All right, and it's going to be to the end, as it always is in the scriptures, to relieve your God or be put to death. And, to, and you always had to prove that you left your God by eating or doing some type of unlawful act. And that's considered an unlawful act. All right. According to Leviticus 19 and what's that? Um, 27. Should not make any cuttings in your flesh. All right. It says any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. And this is pretty much, you know, you serving an idol. All right. Because that chip is ran by AI. Which is pretty much a, you know, um, a dead, un, un, unalived idol. All right. Hey, but with that, Lord willing, you are edified. Again, it's all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai for this warning. This warning is very important. Very important. All right. Before I go, I must mention you know, when you look at these alternative news websites, Zero Hedge, Natural News, there's many, many articles and many uh, outcries, you know, many uh, top officials now coming out and saying, you know, they hit particular information so people could take that, that juicy juice that came out in 2020 and look what happened to them. Mm -hmm. Those people are unalive. All right. And there's no coincidence that after that Juicy Juice was pushed, even Corners was, was saying how, um, you know, they found, uh, even Corners, you know, because Corners, you know, they, they look into uh, uh, the dead, a dead man's body. You know, they have to, you know, rid his body of blood and things of that nature. They were saying that they found, you know, uh, but blood palpitations, if I can even say that, you know, but again, the aftermath is death. You know, the scripture Psalms 55 was that Psalms 55 and 20. War was in his heart. And this devil's mindset is to pull you away from the heavenly father. Right. To make the most his this devil's mindset is to make. The Lord looked like a fool to hurt the Lord. All right. So this thing is coming. It's very serious. Very deadly serious. And again, right now, it's appointed to us to make our spirit stronger. Looking into these words, praying, fasting. You know. For this great and terrible day. So if that. Shalom to the elect.